there guys and welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Amin and today I'm doing a mock test for Alexa. Alexa's got her test in a week's time and this is our second mock test. Yes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you know what happens in the mock test. So throughout the drive, I want you to follow the road ahead. Whenever I need you to turn, I'm going to tell you in plenty of time. If you're not sure where you're going, just ask, but I am just going to get you to follow the sat -nav for the duration of the test for this one. Cool. Okay. So for anything that she does well, it will be listed up across the top. This will be in green. Anything that's advisory or could be counted as a minor fault in the test will be across the top in amber. And anything that's serious or dangerous or where I've had to intervene will be listed across the top in red. And hopefully it doesn't get to that. <sighs> so before we get started, I'm just going to ask a quick question there. So how would you check if your um, brakes are working in you... your car? You, you put the, obviously the engine on, then you press the brakes and you see if you can see the lights, either you get a friend to check them or check on your reflection. Okay, so not the brake lights, how do you test that the brakes are working? How the brakes are working. The brakes are working, yeah. Um, you press them down, you want to make sure that they don't just fall straight down, that there's some sort of pressure when they respond back to you. Okay, right, that's fine. Um, if not, you can let the car roll very, very slightly. Okay, yeah. And see if you can stop with them. Brilliant, sounds good. Whenever you're ready, if you can just... I'm going to put the seat back on, maybe you're ready to start the car cool. and then we'll get driving. Awesome. And that's on and that's on. So you're just following the blue line where the arrow is, that's where we're going. Cool, cool. Okay. With the arrow. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so whenever you're ready, um, drive off. hazards like this parked vehicle that's sticking out over onto the road as this would be difficult to get through with an oncoming vehicle and you may have to stop. On approaching the temporary traffic lights ahead, Alexa positions really well and gets After back onto the left hand side of the road the making sure the vehicles ahead can easily exit. get through. When waiting at temporary traffic lights, always use your mirrors towards the right for any motorbikes or any cyclists overtaking you. The road ahead is really narrow with parked vehicles on both sides and oncoming traffic on the right. Alexa carries on through that space in a slow, controlled manner. If you want better control for narrow gaps, it's a good idea to go down to first gear. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. The roundabout ahead is a flat painted circle. Alexa has to go over the roundabout a little bit, but she does so with her right side tyres only. This would not be counted as a minor fault. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Then, at the end of the road, turn right. the junction on the right was fairly empty, this may not get counted as a line of fault, but you should normally signal about 80 to 100 yards from the junction or about 8 to 10 car lengths depending on your speed. As Alexa moves into the new road, it's a 30 miles per hour road and she makes good progress getting up to about 25 miles per hour. The speed on the screen on the sat nav is slightly lower as it's not connected to the vehicle. After 200 yards, 
turn left, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Turn left, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Positions her vehicle in the centre of the road, making sure there's enough clearance on the left and right hand side of the vehicle. Pull over and park up on the left, then you're safe. Move off whenever you're ready. Alexa deals with meeting situations really well. She times her approach so that she doesn't have to slow down and stop the vehicle to give way to the oncoming vehicles. Alexa deals with this near side turn at the traffic lights really well. She goes into the middle of the junction and waits in a good position allowing the cars in front enough space to pass on the right. She waits for the traffic lights in front to go red which means it's safe for her to now move through. Moving off from this position when you can't see behind the blue car that's turning can be very dangerous as there could be a motorbike. As the lights turn red the traffic in front should be stopping so it's safe to turn. Turning into the new road, Alexa goes straight into the left-hand lane. This is the normal driving position whenever you turn into a new road. After 800 yards. Dealing with hazards on a road like this, you should always use your mirrors and signal in advance so that the traffic around you can see that there's a hazard ahead and has more time to react. Alexa deals with the hazard really well, but should signal slightly earlier, giving the traffic next to her more warning that she needs to move over. Turn left.
along this road, I asked Alexa to pull over and park somewhere safe. She hesitated as it's a single red line. There are restrictions for when you can park. Here is fine. After 200 yards, turn left. Thank you. Drive off whenever you're ready. Park on the right hand side of the road, please. Don't worry about the driveways on this occasion. Thank you, thank you. What I'd like you to do now is to reverse back for about two car lengths, keeping reasonably close to and parallel with the pavement as you do this. Alexa carries out the exercise very carefully using slow clutch control to control her speed while looking over her left and right blind spot making sure there's nobody around the vehicle. If someone turns up and they pass your vehicle while you're reversing you should stop. Only continuing the exercise when the road is clear. Thank you. Drive off whenever you're ready. Before we drive off actually I'm just gonna... Okay so whenever you're ready let's drive off. Traffic lights turn right.
examiner would usually wait for a nice clear road before they ask you to carry out the controls of the vehicle. Make sure to keep the steering wheel steady and also to maintain the speed of the road. When it's safe to do so, I'd like you to demonstrate how you would demiss the rear windscreen. to the hazard, the part vehicle sticking out, Alexa should have used her mirrors and potentially signalled to make it clear to others. Approach to this right turn at the traffic lights. Alexa waits for the traffic opposite as they're on her side of the road where she needs to be to turn right and then moves over when it's safe to do so. The junction ahead already has two vehicles waiting in the middle. Alexa waits in a good position making sure she doesn't go onto the cycle box. With traffic light junctions, Usually only two cars can fit in the junction from either side. Alexa waits in a good position as there were already two vehicles in the middle. If she had gone forward she would have either been on the cycle box or on the pedestrian crossing and either of those two would have resulted in a fault.
point, if you're unsure of direction, you can always ask. But if the examiner doesn't say anything, you just need to keep following the road ahead. Yeah, straight on from here. That's the end of your uh, drive. Sick. How do you think you did? Fine. Couple of. Eh, mostly fine. No, you did. You did really well. You did really well there. You, it was a really nice drive. There's only two faults, and even that, I felt like I was nitpicking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was, was a really nice drive. Uh, much better than the last one that we yeah. had. Lots more going on there. Okay, so the two faults that I've got in there is um, signal timed. At the very beginning, there was a traffic light junction where we were turning uh -huh. right, but there was a turning on the right. And I did it too early. Yeah, your Got signal you. came in before it. Cool. Um, the other one was um, just on the way in at the end, when we were coming up near the station, there mm -hmm. was a parked car that was funny, parked, sticking yeah. out with the back. Yeah. Now, um, I wasn't sure if you were checking the right just before, because you sort of came up, come up behind him and you've not signalled and you have sort of nip into the right. Uh -huh. So I wasn't sure if you were using the mirror on the right. Mm -hmm. I know you probably checked earlier, but it was just right near the end. Yeah. Maybe you put that signal on, let everyone cool. know that you're going to go across. Yeah? Cool. Besides that, you, re you did really well with the traffic light crossroads. Woohoo! You know the ones where you have to sit yeah. in the middle? Yeah. So you, you kept sort of, um, you kept your position, you waited when you couldn't see, and then mm -hmm. when the traffic lights were red, you went through. That was nice. And the parking exercise, the reversing, yep. sorry. Yep. Yeah. You were looking over both shoulders very nicely like this. So that was great. And you waited for the bus, which was definitely a good idea. Um, something you did uh, when you moved off from that position, when you moved off from the right hand side of the road there was a bus coming but that wasn't an issue you moved off and you got all the way across towards the left hand side mm -hmm. of the road so that was really good because then the bus in front he was able to easily get through with you he sort of put his hand up nice and clear so that was really good when you moved across from the right towards the left fully and you were nice and straight mm -hmm. otherwise you would have been blocking the bus right? yep but yeah not a lot of... Um, oh yeah and also you remember when we were on the dual carriageway yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the yeah. people broken down. Oh, yeah. About yeah. three cars. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did you see that earlier? Yeah, that's why I moved over. Mm. Yeah, just, just maybe put that signal on a bit earlier, let the person on the right know for a little while, but you moved over lanes very nicely. You even leaned forward to check that mirror as opposed to just moving over, which was nice. And even moving back in towards the left lane. So, yeah, all, everything's good. There wasn't a lot going on for me to talk about. Cool. But Happy that, days. Good that was me. a nice drive. <laughs> the roads were clear. That, the, the, yeah. the roads were clear, which was sort of uh, to your advantage there a little bit. Definitely. But no, you, you did drive really well. Um, just with first gear, sometimes when you go into first, you kind of look down. Right. Okay. You don't want to be looking down. Yeah. Just, Avoid. just knock it into one. Yeah. So Got well done you. for that. Sick. Happy days. Yeah. Well done. So yeah, I hope you guys found that video useful and this helps you pass your test.